today I'm going to be talking about achieving your career goals, going from now to wow. I think in a lot of cases we separate, like Irene was saying, we separate career from life and personal goals. Then we get in a battle with the head and heart sometimes about, am I really where I want to be or am I here because I feel like this is where I should be career-wise? More and more I think that we're moving into a time where they're not separated anymore. So today I'd like to invite you to give yourself permission to let the dreams, the imaginings, the goals, the hopes, whatever surfaces for you today about your life, give yourself permission to allow those things to happen instead of pushing them on that someday shelf. When I get old enough, when I get the money, when the kids grow up. So allow your heart to go there today and let's see where that takes you. That may be that on the little card that says Runway to Success, I want you to put a one-liner. So during the speaking today, if it hits you, don't evaluate it. Know that it's the heart speaking and just write it down and see what happens. So it'll be your goal for the next six months and then your letter to yourself congratulating yourself for the next six months. There's an envelope. I want you to put your address on there and I will mail it to you in June. It'll be a reminder because as we go through today, you'll see that today is simply a reminder about, uh, to you about your intentions. I want you to look at your intentions today for your life and career to not judge, but just to see, am I where I intended to be at this point in my life? It's not evaluation about are you in the right career. It's an evaluation of you looking to yourself and saying, am I living the things that I intended to be living for my life at this point? If not, what do I need to do? So I'd like to begin with sharing with you something that came from an twen early 20th century poet, and I think it's a good way to start where we are today. He said, come to the edge. Oh, it's too high. Come to the edge. Oh, we might fall. Come to the edge. And they came, and he pushed them, and they flew. That's what I'm hoping that this does today because as David McNally said in his book, even eagles need a push. So you may feel like that, oh, I'm exactly where I want to be. All I'm saying is just check it as we go through the presentation today. From now to wow. Ready for a new beginning. This is not like starting over everything, but it may be, what am I going to do this year to have a new beginning? Because life is about a journey. We get stuck in our flip-flop life, our comfort zone, and don't pay attention to our intention. Deepak Chopra talks about two things important, attention, intention, and awareness. So this is just today about paying attention around your career and where you want to go. So if you're ready to begin, let's go. When we're small, we dream big. You know, I'm going to be a fireman. I'm going to be a policeman. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to... We don't let anything get in the way of our dreaming. But when we get older, the head starts saying, oh, well, I don't know. You better not. You got to do this. And you got... So all of a sudden, we allow our head to rule. And I'm saying, make them partners. Nothing seems impossible to children, even to our teenagers sometimes, or our 20-somethings. I want to do this, and mom and daddy hold on a little bit. So we have to learn that even eagles need a push, and it may be just they're pushing us. Look at this. This is what happens when we're small. Give a girl the right shoes, and she can conquer the world, Marilyn Monroe said. That's where we are when we're little. We're in our room. We're wearing these high heels. 
feeling all excited. I'm a grown-up woman. Even as a little boy, I say you give a boy a dream and you watch him become a man. I know that those of you who have children or have nieces or nephews or children around you, you've seen this. They put on and they pretend. We can do the same things in our lives, and sometimes it becomes our reality. Do you have dreams or goals? Would you say you have dreams or goals? We all do if we're living. Running a successful business. Sometimes, how many of you have thought about running your own business or do? Finding personal and professional satisfaction. We are constantly bombarded from the time we're little about what is our career going to be and how we're going to manage that and making choices about how we want to live our lives. Living a fulfilled life. I would say, is there anybody that doesn't want that out of their life? Sometimes our career take away from our lives. And we have to say, where's that balance I want? All journeys begin with a dream. The reason I put um, this hierarchy of Maslow's up here is because if you look at that, I'm going to divide it into three sections. Basically, there's one about security. There's a middle section about belonging and loving. And then there's a top section about actualization or contributing, performing, giving more. So if you think about our society a few years ago, sure, we're still interested in the financial aspects, but we were very interested in making a living. My dad said, I got to go to work, see you later. We miss some of our own family life. We're doing better at that now. Granted, there are still those we need to help. But for most part, where we are in a society today about living our dreams and our goals and our career is we're moving into the two middle points. We want to belong. We want to feel like we're connected to something that makes sense for us. So we're looking for cultures. That is a blending of career and personal life. Our spiritual self, our emotional self, we're looking for a better connection. So if you think about where we are in our career decisions now, or the people you're hiring, they're going to want to be given self-esteem. They're wanting to feel like, hey, I like it here because of this. So we're looking for jobs. I was talking to one woman. I'm looking for jobs where I can give back to people, where I can help them, something in a health care, maybe a senior living kind of thing. So there's more, some other reasons that drive us. And then the top, you know, none of us, even if we've been in the career area a long time, we've got a lot to give back and we want to give it back. We don't just want to be doing something because it's doing something. Most of us are saying, I want to give back. I want to do something here. Or I want to use my creativity. Remember years ago in some corporations we were in, we had suggestion boxes. We'd put in suggestions and, oh, what happened to that suggestion? Nobody ever did anything about it. And the people had great ideas, but top management maybe didn't look at them or they got busy or whatever, but they didn't happen. We're not doing that anymore. Forget the suggestion box. I'm coming to the meeting and making my own announcement. So our careers are moving in a different direction because we're beginning to push them. I wrote a blog not too long ago on um, Nashville.com, and it was about the glass ceiling, uh, specifically from what Steinberg had said in Lean In, and that we have broken the glass ceiling. All we have to do now is just look up and start moving toward that as women. Never in, my, in the history of my life have I seen women doing so many things and making um, so many changes in the world. Yes, we still have some area to grow in, but instead of wan wan about it, I say applaud ourselves for what we've accomplished. What we're seeking is life balance. There's job sharing out there, so if we say we only want to work three days a week now, then there's a lot. I have a lot of uh, people that are in career transition right now, and they're saying, I don't want to work. I had a woman yesterday. She has a little two-year-old. And she said, I don't want to work five days a week, but I don't know where I can get jobs. Go tell somebody you're looking for a three-day-a-week kind of opportunity. The company that I worked in 25 years ago, we had job sharing. I had one woman from Human Resources 
that was pregnant, had a baby uh, on the way, another one, they got together and said, we want to work two days a week. We want to stay in the business environment, but we don't want to work five days a week. because." So what we did was combine those jobs. There's so many things that we can do anymore to meet what our career goals are and what our intentions are. We have to ask for it. Satisfaction first. I think that most of us are seeking, wouldn't you agree that satisfaction first is what we're seeking in our job? Or do you think it's still more security? What would you say? More security or more job satisfaction? Satisfaction. There is no job security anymore in putting it in somebody else's hands from our career standpoint. It's about basic economic supply and demand. So we have to be clear about what we want too because we're running a business, our life. How do you brand yourself in going after the career you want? Are you just another person coming through that door? Usually when you ask for something unique, like I want to work three days a week. I had an engineer that he worked for this big engineering firm downtown. So when he went out, he was making good money. So when he went out to get a job, it wasn't easy to try to find that kind of pay. He wanted to start his own business, but his wife was frightened. He said, I've been wanting to do this all my life. She said, oh, no, no, we need the financial security. I said, I got an idea. We'll trick your wife. <laughs> so I said, would you be willing to take this job at this salary for four days a week? He said, yes. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take the job, and then we're going to start your business on the side. In three months, he had three contracts on his own business, and he took the job for 15000 less. He was on his way to starting his own business. So your dreams can come true. You just have to figure out how I'm going to make it happen. So we can get the things we want. We do have personal control. And I'm a kind of person that I push the edges. I've been out here so long, who cares anymore? <laughs> I've done it all. Diversity, diversify life's port for portfolio. I saw this. Um, who's one of the big golfers older? Did anybody see that article in the paper just recently? I, I want to say Arnold Palmer, but if, if I'm wrong, okay. But it was an, was it? What was it? Jack. Nicholas. There you go, you saw it, Jack Nicholas, that's it. He said, diversify your life portfolio. The job we have becomes our life. He said, diversify, do something fun, do something creative. I had a, uh, a lawyer that lost his job in a mortgage company in Columbus, Georgia. He had been an artist in, a, in college. He had forgotten he could even draw because he got so involved in his job. Now he was losing his job. I said, what are you going to do? He said, oh, I don't know. I guess retire. You'll die. And then he remembered, like I'm asking you to remember. If something hits your heart, write it down, because that's where you'll go. Part-time contracting, we've talked about that, and flexibility and training. Top focuses of professionals today, <coughs> personal and professional satisfaction. We've talked about that, life and work balance, and then career versus a job career versus a job. A career is something we just, time flies and we love it. A job is something we have to do each day. Well, I got to get up and go to work today. <laughs> we all been there. Okay, I'm getting in now to achieving the desired career goals. I think there are three critical elements. And it starts with now, how, and wow. The now, how, and wow model I have up here is that where you are today is you're looking forward at a wow. What is it I want to be doing three to five years from now? We won't make the change overnight. Sometimes we will, but for most part, we have to start planning. My little niece owned a horse farm in Indianapolis. I remember sitting down with her and doing a 10-year plan. Five, three, one, six months. Trisha called and said, Aunt Pat, about a month later, I got the six-month plan down. What do I do now? I want you to go to the year plan. Within six months, she had the year plan done. We were moving up into the three years. 
this is what happens if you create a vision of where you're going and then you come back and you start putting a plan together. It starts to happen. That's why I'm asking you, what do you accomplish six months from now that you really would like to do and you're celebrating? The wow is not only where you're going, it's the celebration of you have accomplished it. Let's look at these. Now, the reason I've got this vertical, this vertical arrow is that when we're thinking about life, we may keep doing what we're doing for now. Because uh, most of us can't jump tomorrow, but you don't forget about where you're going. And this is what we do. We get so lost in what we're doing now that we forget about where we're going or where we want to go or what our dreams are, or what our goals are. So we have to manage both. And if you do, then what you're always saying to yourself is, oh my gosh, I'm on my way. This is another celebration. Or I just ran into somebody here at this meeting today that's just helping me move along. So it, if we're diversifying our life, we're doing this and we're doing this at the same time, looking at what we want to accomplish. Just like a lot of the golfers. They play golf, but they've created golf course design businesses or they've created um, apparel businesses. Same thing with all the um, business people in the world. They've diversified. Think of all the stars that have come up with fragrances and all these kind of things, clothing design. Okay, so now, what is the now about? Define what you want three to five years from now. And I say be specific as you can. Because otherwise, you know how companies write these missions and visions? We want to become the da 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 It's so vague that nobody can really understand what it really means. But we've done it. No, you know what I'm saying to you? Make it clear enough that you can understand it and I can understand it. It's kind of like on your resume, we have the objective on there. I say get rid of that, it's just wasting my time to read. Yeah, I want to work in a company that uh, utilizes my skills and experiences. What does that say? You're wasting my time. So I think we have to get clear about what we're wanting and where we're going. So write it down. The second step is to find endings and new beginnings. Let's say you want to lose 20, fat, 20 pounds. One of the endings is you got to get off of the couch and write on your calendar three days. These are the days I'm going. Or you're going to walk around the block. I don't care what you do. We don't have to start to be a hero and get a number one recognition out of it. But maybe a new beginning is buy a pair of running shoes or walking shoes. It's pretty simple when we get clear where we're going to write down. I always say we plan better for our vacations than we do for our lives. When we go on vacation, we know what we need to take. Ah, we're going to the theater. Oh, I'm going to walk on the beach, so I'm taking a bathing suit. I'm not bragging. I'm simply stating what my life was. I was a single mom early in life with my son. He was four years old. I coached hockey for him while I was still working a corporate job and teaching aerobics. Then I decided to go back and get my degree. He was in traveling hockey. I drove down the road. <laughs> Book on here, could have had an accident. Reading what I had to have for my college. We can do it if we want it. A woman recently sent me a note from Columbus, Georgia, a company I'd worked in. I, I did Wah, wah, when she told me about wanting to finish her last year of school. Guess what? I got a note from her. She said, you made me so mad I did it. <laughs> I was so proud of her. But we have to get rid of some endings. We have to quit saying yes to everybody that says, do you want to do that? No, you know what? I've planned this for tonight. Some of my friends say, well, what have you planned? I got an appointment. Make it up if you just need some quiet time. Or make it up, you know, just get them off your back. Another important thing that somebody said to me a while ago at endings, quit hanging around people that aren't going in the direction you're going. I don't care if it's your family. I don't care if it's your best friend. You can still love them, but find that group of people. This is a program of women moving forward. And so I, like Irene and Lori, would encourage you to become part of an organization like the MBA group. Believe it's possible. That's the first thing. If we start believing it's possible, we'll <laughs> first person we have to convince is ourselves. <laughs> Everybody else will buy in if we just do that. 
the how. Start the action plan today. That's what your little card is about. You're starting something today. Not tomorrow, but we're going to start it today. What are you doing six months from now? What have you accomplished? And here's your recognition of a celebration letter that will go to you. I want you to outline when you get home a three-month jump start plan. So that would be something that you're going to do in month one, month two, and month three. Now, why do I say that? We all know that it takes at least 21 days to change a habit. So we'll get all fired up leaving here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then life happens, the events. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, the kids needed this. So we just need to start our plan. We never know who we are until we allow ourselves to go to our heart and get out of our head about what we think a career is about. We can be all we can be in, do, in doing the day-in and day-out jobs we have to do. So think, what do I want to do the next three months toward my own career direction? Define sport to, uh, support tools. We, we might need a resume. Get a good resume, one that is authentically who you are, and quit trying to make it fit with the job description on the posting. Those job descriptions were probably written 17 years ago. Then create a marketing plan. Who do you want to work for? Who do you really, if you could really work where you want to work, what we were talking about, Terry, if you could really work where you want to work, where would it be? So you name them. Mentors, who do you need for a mentor? It doesn't have to be somebody um, that's president of a company, but it can be. It could just be somebody like Irene that is supportive. She said she recommended me after all. <laughs> so I think we just have to look at what do we need. Social media, naturally we know all these. We had a group uh, a speaking engagement about that not long ago. Networking and finances. So I think we have to define what is it we need to go where we're going. The wow. Remember the wow is where you've said you're going and now create benchmarks. The wow is a benchmark along the way. What am I going to celebrate here? We're going to celebrate in six months something that you have gotten or that you have accomplished that you said you wanted to accomplish. And you're going to like it so well you're going to want to create another benchmark along the way, another goal. You know, I, um, I do, I'm going to have a calendar of motivational, event, motivational sayings coming out in February. And here's how it happened. I go on Facebook and I go on LinkedIn and Twitter and I put out every day a motivational saying. It may be something about procrastination or it may be something about what do you really want to do, really want to do, whatever. So I'll put something out there that, is, that I've made up that just comes to me usually in my own life that I'm facing. But I said, wow, I've got a thousand of these out there now. And it just happened over time. So I said, what am I going to do with it? Oh, I'm going to create a book. Oh, no, I don't think I'll create a book. I want a calendar. So it's a calendar of daily quotes that it's a motivational kind of thing to keep us going day after day after day. It didn't start out that way. But now I said, whoo. So we can start things and just say, I want to write a book. And maybe in the next six months, I'm going to write the title. Just anything to keep it in our mind. Celebrate all accomplishments. They don't have to be number one on the book <laughs> list or anything. Something that you feel was great. Keep vision on your runway to success. Always think about what is it I want to really be doing? What is my runway to success? Achieving career and business goals begin now, not someday. A vision is really a magnet. It starts pulling you toward. It like it haunts you. You know, if you saw that um, dress at TJ Maxx you wanted, and you think, darn, I didn't have the money right now, but you keep thinking about that dress at TJ Maxx, or you keep thinking about that pair of shoes or that car you wanted. So it's a vision. Do three things every day toward your goal. And I have one thing that I'd like to close with, if that's OK. And then we can have conversations or whatever. 
This is from the book Unstoppable. I love this book because it's little stories about people, Cynthia Kiersey wrote it, it's little stories about people who have refused to be unstoppable. Nothing got in their way. Grandma Moses, uh, Amy Grant's in here. So nothing got in their way. And here's a poem that I'd like to leave today with you from Helen Steiner Rice. Often your task may be many and more than you think you can do. Often the road will be rugged and the hills insurmountable too. But always remember the hills ahead are never as steep as they seem. And with faith in your heart, start upward and climb till you reach your dream. For nothing in life that is worthy is ever too hard to achieve. If you have the faith to try it, and you have the faith to believe. For faith is a force that is greater than knowledge or power or skill. And many defeats turn to triumph if you trust in God's wisdom and will. For faith is a mover of mountains. There's nothing that God cannot do. So start out today with faith in your heart and climb till all your dreams come true. Life is a gift. The way you wrap it is your choice. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity today. And if you would give me your forms before we um, leave, I'll mail those back to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.